What is up, y'all? It's me, Dre, EMIP TV, and we're gonna do a video that someone had asked me about in my last video, and that's why I don't shoot weddings, right? So a lot of photographers, this weddings is where the money's at, right? Don't everybody want to shoot a wedding, make your 5,000, you name it, man. As, as good as you want to be, you can damn near name your price. But I don't shoot weddings because I feel it's just not my style of photography. I think that, you know, and I never shot a wedding. So if I'm wrong about some stuff, maybe it's because I never shot a wedding, but this is what I feel. So, you know, it's kind of a run and gun kind of scenario. You know, and I don't like that. I'm, I'm the kind of person I like to set up my lights, you know, and I like to, you know, make sure it's right, you know, because I'm, you know, I just feel that when you're shooting photography, you're just taking pictures, you know, and I really like to create a portrait, create a background, create the, the shadows with the light. And I don't think you can do that with weddings. I mean, if they coming out and you got the sun beaming, you got to take the shot. You know what I mean? You got to take the shot. Hopefully your exposure is right. Maybe you can have a crew. You can kind of foresee this and you're holding up some shades, some blockers and stuff like that to kind of block some hard sunspots, but you probably get that person in the picture. So that's, that's one scenario. The kiss, you know, you have one time, one second to get the right shots, you know, and if you miss it, the clients are probably going to be pretty mad and it's normal. You can miss it. You know, don't, you just might not be ready, <laughs> even though you, you need to be ready. And maybe this is why you requires more money, but suppose you do miss it. Suppose at the time you press the button and your battery died, or suppose this, you press, it's something, anything happened. Suppose somebody sneezed and bumped your elbow and caused you to miss the shot. And then you, you're showing the clients these pictures and they're like, where's the kiss? They're like, I, I missed it. <laughs> so how could you, how could you even see say that um the date okay the date is set in stone and hey i'm not a full-time photographer i have a job so yes i might be able to take that I, that day off i'm using time that i like to actually spend elsewhere but let's say i get the day off and but the prior day my my job is weird sometimes you can get the day off sometimes you can't not get the day off but i may work into the day so i would probably need to take two days off because i work nights so i never know I, I get off of work when the job is done okay that's when i get off there's no 7 30 you're off no it's 7 30 you should be off if the job is done so that could limit me of missing the appointment, you know, missing the date. And then I'm hiring another photographer or whatever to shoot for me. And they're like, hey, what's this guy? You know, of course, I would have that kind of stuff in the contract. But, um, yeah, these are the, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> sorry about that. But these are the main reasons why I don't shoot weddings. I think it's really time pressure. Now, if I were to shoot a wedding, I would like to actually get the bride and the groom out day before right and shoot some really good portraits we go to a location and we kind of shooting it up just like a, a engagement shoot I, I i could do that by the way that's that's kind of fun natural you could take your time but a setting like that but you can't do that because the bride may mess up her dress okay the groom you could probably just rent another tuxedo or something yeah i need to change the pants throw it in the washing machine <laughs> but the, the 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 bride can't do that she might mess up her dress and then if you do it Afterwards, the dress could be already messed up because of the cake smashing and and you know people you know popping champagne. They might you know the dress would probably be messed up. So I, I don't think I can shoot that way. And one last thing, I do not like weddings. Oh my gosh, they're so boring. You know, <laughs> unless you're in it. Maybe if you're the bride and groom. I got married once and. I don't, it, the day went by fast, it was just fast, you know, so I didn't even know what, I don't even remember the picture taken, it was, the, everything is so quick because everybody wants you, boom, 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 that's another thing, when you're trying to get a shot and people's grabbing the bride, boom, 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 you know, we, uh, Deborah and I, we was at a wedding where the photographer held the, the, the couple so long, they missed the dinner, <laughs> was that true? I got Deborah in the background, they missed the dinner. 
matter. <laughs> it was like, so, and, and I think people might have been mad at the photographer or whatever, and that's what I'm talking about. It's just, it's crazy. You, you could pay a lot of, uh, uh, you pay a lot of money. This is a very important date for the couple, especially the bride. She's the one that really wants these pictures. And if they mess, everything just has to be so perfect. Causes a lot of stress for me, and I'm just not, I'm just not with that. I, I like to relax, and I like to have fun, and, and smile, and, and all of that. So it's just not me. It's just not my style. But you know what? That's where the money's at. I do understand it. And I was, I got offered to take a lot, some, okay? I lied, a lot. <laughs> some wedding, some wedding, and I just can't, I can't do it. I can't find myself doing it. You have to learn the structure. Now, it's boring to me, so I have no interest in learning, but you have to learn the structure of a wedding, meaning, oh, okay, the bride's gonna come up, they're gonna do this, and then they're gonna do this, and this, and the whole, uh, your, the brides and the grooms in that room, brides in that room, and, you, and you're taking detailed shots, and you, know, you gotta learn, okay, what's next, and we're gonna do this, and that, and that. I ain't got time for it, okay? So it's, I find it very boring. So it's just not my interest. What, you know, one time when I first started my photography business, I was like, I'm shooting everything. And, and when I realized, I just didn't like that. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna shoot what I wanna shoot. No, I don't do dogs. No, I don't do baby shots. No, I do portraits, you know? And that's what I like to do, and especially seniors. I, like, I really like shooting them. So anyway, that's why I don't do weddings. And I advise, my advice to you is shoot what you want to shoot. Shoot what you're good at. Don't, you don't have to be the photographer. I, I do it all. You ain't gotta be that guy. Do what you want to do. And then you you would find yourself feeling good, feeling great. You know what I mean? It, going out and having fun because it, just take the stress. I remember uh, I had the picture set up and, and I'm making oh you want eight by ten? Blah, 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 blah. Now I just there there's the prints. I, I it was driving me crazy. Now a lot of people be against that because that's where you make the money. But no, nah, I'm not interested in that. You know what I'm saying? So that's me. I really narrowed it down to do what I like to do, okay? And that's my photography business. If you're interested, because this is EMIP TV, go to envymeimages.com and you'll see my work. Anyway, thanks for watching. I am Dre. Stay tuned on this channel for more. Stay tuned for watching me get hot and you see that sweat. <laughs> I don't know why I sweat so much for making videos. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Dre. EMIP TV is out. Shoot what you want to shoot because it's more fun. Uh, 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 uh.